I'm Diane and I'm joined by Rocker Day from the Outdoor Orchestra. How are you doing, <laughs> are you doing there? Um, so this is your local gig for you then. Mm, I can't believe that for once I could actually leave home. Three minutes driving time and I'm here. We used to be in, up in Sheffield or yeah. Derby Way. So three minutes door to door, that suits me fine. It's pretty good. They do go a lot of venues down here in Southampton. Yeah, don't you? Um, here, 1865 Club engine rooms up the road okay. and both pull really decent acts. You play a lot of them locally? We rarely play locally. We I don't think we played in Southampton for a year or so. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't even remember when if we did. Something you said? <laughs> yeah. I think it's just something that's nice to get out of town. You love to go to another city and see the camaraderie and excitement that goes to another city and it seems that Sheffield has adopted us as their own for some reason. But that's a bugger, I can't get there in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, the Lap Steel you play, um, well, I've seen this really recently with Willie and the Bandits as well. So, is this like an instrument that's coming into its own now, do you think? Yeah, Pete, our new banjo player, he plays the Lap Steel. And I love it because it's got the real country yeah. flavour to it. Yeah. So, Pete loves country, I love country. Um, and then we all like rock and metal as well. So. It's just Pete had one of these gadgets. And when Is I it met like him, a developing sound then or anything? No, it's just when I met him and I've gone through about 16 banjo players to find a replacement and it was impossible to find a banjo player under 85 years old that didn't like just folk music. And you say, oh you're a banjo player, um, do you like metal? No. I like <laughs> Irish folk. You go, oh. So eventually I found Pete and um, when he's showing me and we were running through all our songs and this guy met him for the first time, he learned all our songs, he then, out with the lap steel, says, how about this? And I went, I love it. Yeah, I absolutely yeah. love it. So, uh, yeah, so the lap steel is a developed sound. It's, um, it's giving us a new angle. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like you. Yeah. And, and the new EP that just come out, isn't it? The, yeah, God Knows We Tried. God Knows We Tried. Where's so, that come from? Where'd it come from? Do you really want to know? <laughs> I was at a gig and there was a lighting sound man. A lighting man up right up at the top of a ladder on a rig, and he had billows of white hair and a big white beard. All oh, right. He's up in the air on the ladder. He's trying to talk to the sound man. He's trying to talk to the sound man, and they're not corresponding. He climbed down the ladder, all angry, to go and shout at the sound man. And I said, "Look, God knows. God knows he's in trouble." I tell you what. Do you want to get these boys in? Yeah, yeah, we're we'll going to join with someone else and then get them. We're being joined now by uh, Pete from Outlaw yeah, Orchestra. Some more, yeah, come on in. <laughs> Hello, mate. Oh, so, well, a bit of brotherly love now from here. Hold on here. I might as well join in. Uh, brotherly love before I Hi, guys. Get a nice to meet you. Three, three out of the four. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't missed much. No. <laughs> you should start again. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, sorry. no, we're, we're okay. There. We're okay, carrying <laughs> on. Uh, so, that was uh, a mid-story and it all went to shit. Oh, it was your story? <laughs> oh, don't you worry. Well, Which don't one was worry. it? Don't worry, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the one that's just been on it. holiday? <laughs> no. He's not here. He's not here. Yeah, he's, still, he's probably he's still, still there. Still there. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, <laughs> right, how, how, right, so the question was, how did we come up with the title of God, God Knows? Yeah. Um, God Knows was purely because uh, there was a lighting rig man who was... At a gig, I was watching of the Cadillac 3. He was up on the ladder, right up in the, in the gods. But by coincidence, he had clouds of white hair and a big white beard. And he's arguing with the sound man. And you could see them ranting at each other. He climbs down this ladder, furious. And I went, look, God's come downstairs. <laughs> like, we're laughing about it. And I went to complain about the noise. That's a song. Hence the song. God, the first line is, God's come downstairs to complain to the boys about the noise. Um, but God knows we tried. That's the chorus. And then we went... Hey, the first EP is called The Devil Made Me Do It, the second one's called God Knows We Tried. Yes, yes. No, um, so you said the Cadillac 3, the, when your influences then. Yeah, yeah, one of the kids in the band likes them. You've got mix. I quite like them, they're, they're alright. No, they, no, they, they write a good pop song. <laughs> they do, <laughs> they write a good pop song. Well, yeah, they go like Humble Pie, Black Crows, all these mixtures, so you're trying to mix it all. I think so, yeah. And yeah. somehow it works. <laughs> I just I just explained about how you brought in lap steel, how you brought in lap steel with the banjo, giving it a more country flavour, and uh, yeah, it kind of works. It takes you to a new new 
area. See, Pete and I like the, yeah. like the Stones countryside. Yeah, right. So when they did like Exile on Main Street and did a lot of country stuff, yes, it's what you like. But you tend to like country music as you get older, and then you repeat yourself a lot, yeah. and your vision goes. As you get older, you start to get into stuff that you were into when you were young. No, that's true. You start to appreciate yeah, yeah. your parents' record collection. As I got older, like I humble pie. As I got older, I started <laughs> listening to more Buddy Holly because that's what I grew up with my dad, and I never listened to Buddy Holly before Zeppelin, ACDC, yeah, Humble Pie. What would you do? Because the, I saw the um, Magpie Salute for, yeah. uh, recently, and they played a Blind Faith song. Yes, uh, so I've yes, been downloading all Blind yeah. Faith now. <laughs> so you get into my, what would you do if a metal band started covering Buddy Holly? Would you dig it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> would you? Peggy Sue played at like 150 BPM with double pedal and shredding guitar. That sounds great. Oh, if anyone's done it, that would be sacrilege, wouldn't it? Yeah. We should have come It's a bit like wet, wet, wet doing get by with little help from my friends. That was a criminal act. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. So you're going to promote this EP? You're going to go on tour? We're going to more um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, next year. Well, album we, tour hopefully we, in the new year. We're doing quite a bit. I'll be, yeah. uh, the first two EPs were because we had so many songs, so we recorded them. The first one we recorded live, the second one we recorded at Pete's studio. Right. Um, and we still have so many songs, so the next lot are going to be an album. And then that that we will promote to its nth degree. Um, yeah, the EPs, they were just to raise some money so we could record an album. <laughs> <laughs> so is that how you write your new stuff? You all get together? I think so, yeah. Organic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, yeah. you kind of watch movies and you'll hear a great line. Clint Eastwood will come out with a fantastic well, line. I like you see Man of Blood and you go, yes, great, yeah. Yeah. And you come up with a great line and you buzz it out on an email and Ryan will go, I've got a great idea for a Sabbath, Sabbath meets Willie Nelson style song. <laughs> yeah. And people go, I've got this thing which I have had in my head for four years. And, and then Alex and I come along and ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what happens, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're looking forward to seeing you later on, you Yeah, we played here a long, 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 long time ago. I don't remember the place. I thought the stage was up this high, but it's not. But I believe it's a great venue. It, it is, it looks, it looks good. Yeah, I think you get some fun. seriously good acts here as well. Um, they won't today because we're playing, unfortunately. But after us, get some proper bands coming on, like Massive Wagons. <laughs> well, it's been great talking to yeah, you. And yeah, and yourself. Uh, nice to meet you all. Well, good luck with the show later on. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah really good. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and uh, I don't know if you guys have got a copy of our new EP. I have no idea. Yep, yeah, no. I'll probably review it for you, Dave. <laughs> you don't want to do that. But um, absolutely, I do have them all in the um, tour bus outside. Okay. Right. The little, the little yeah. Citroen Picasso. <laughs> Citroen Picasso. We're on. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. Very much. Right, cheers. cheers.